can't, we can't make promises because at times we make promises which we cannot keep. So what I will ask them is to come out in their numbers as they've always done. They cannot abandon us now because we all represent Simba. We play for Simba, they support Simba. So if they abandon us now, it means we are not a family. So we will do our best to get back to winning ways starting tomorrow. And we will do that with their support. They need to push us. Because when they are there, it gives us the zeal to make them go back home with smiles on their faces. So they should keep supporting us. In a football club, there are good and there are bad times. And we know the members of the club during the bad times. So if they abandon us, it means they are not members, they are not fans, they are fanatics. Because fans don't abandon their club. They support their club right up to the end. I know we haven't been at our best. Yeah, that's true, we haven't been at our best. But it doesn't mean everything is lost, all is not lost. We still have time to right the wrongs. And we still have time to win whatever trophy we want to win. And we will do that with their support. So they should come out and push us so that we will go up together in order to win the game tomorrow and the other games that are coming up in the days ahead. Thank you. We have been considering goals because we had a lot of lackings, especially with our communication. Because in the football team, I believe, we need at least four leaders in each compartment. But that's what we have been lacking, which makes us to concede goals which we could avoid, just because we don't want to talk. And it's because of lack of concentration. Because if you are concentrated, you will do what is needed to be done at a certain time. So, like the coach said, we have had a lot of communication. He has talked to us because coach-player relationship is very important in a football club. So that was where he started, by communicating to each and every one of us. So we have identified some of the problems and are already working on the solutions. Today is the last training day before the game. I believe we'll work on that, on that again before the day of tomorrow. So improvements are being made. <clears throat> it is a good challenge because we are in a very bad phase in the club right now. So this is a challenge for us to prove to prove that when you fall, you don't stay down. You get up and continue to fight. So at first, the last two games wasn't good and psychologically we were down. And when the coach left, the morale again went down. But a mature player is that one that sees challenges as an opportunity to use it in his advantage. So most of the senior players, we grouped and we talked. A, coach, a head coach must not only be uh, the, the, how can I put it, the leader, yes. So long as you have a coaching license, you are qualified to coach either the goalkeepers or the players. So we have a new staff in place and we have been working together. And uh, the encouragement they have been giving us have boost our morals. So we have to start tomorrow to prove that what we have been working before this game tomorrow didn't go to waste. At first, we didn't do a good preparation. Because if physically you are not in place, tactically you can never be good. 
So that is where we had formed. Because physically, most of us were down. So when we have the ball, we move up together. But when we lose the ball, we don't come back together. That is why you notice tactically, we were not good. Because most players didn't have the, 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 the oil to go and come back. But for the past 10 days, I believe, we have put back every oil we needed to run in front and back in order to score goals and defend, not to concede. So tomorrow, it's a different ball game. It is a new competition. So we need to start with victory. And I sure victory will be ours by God's grace. We can make it with fans and we can make it without fans. But the 12th player is always very important because we are playing at home. Seeing the crowd in the field will give you more energy in order to play and win because you know if you don't win, you will be insulted. As a footballer, we need to accept criticisms from coaches, our fellow players, and the fans. But it depends on how you take the criticism. <coughs> Do you take it to your advantage, or you take it to your disadvantage? With fans, the assurance to win will be more than without fans. But it doesn't mean we cannot beat without them. But we need them. Because they are the ones that make us to remove whatever thing we have in us. To play well and to win. We are playing for Simba. But we are playing for them too because they support us in one way or another, even if not directly, but indirectly. So we need them in their numbers tomorrow. We need them. Some might have given up, but not all. So to make them come back, it is to win, because everybody loves victory. Everybody loves victory, so we need to win in order to give our fans the confidence they once gave us so that they will continue to support us right up to the end. Thank you.